to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching the winning unity platform from thank you so much and we do really really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a unity platform today is 15th august 2024 thursday remaining 21 days exactly for ghana to host angola in kumasi baba yara sports stadium african cup of nation qualifiers so this video we're going to be giving you our 26 man squad you know we have spoke about goalkeepers we also spoke about uh, defenders we spoke about the midfielders we also spoke about the wingers and we spoke about the strikers the players that are available for Otuado to make his choice and all the players that we spoke about right here all was 37 players so these 37 players we are breaking it down to give you our 26 man squad and also we're dropping some players and we're going to be giving you a little bit explanation the reason why we drop some players that we drop so if you also have something to contribute you have to leave your comment right there this is what we're going to be sharing with you right here at the Winnie unity platform but please before we move into the main details i will please tell you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so help us subscribe to the channel share the link to your friends give us thumbs up that is the only way will help us to grow to always come out to give you african football particular ghana football and particular ghana black stars players around the world so thank you so much for always doing so um for us right here at arena unity platform so let's drive into um just to remind you once again this squad is not coming from otoado this squad is coming from a Winnie unity platform team so do not be confused or do not think that maybe this squad is coming from Otuado or maybe GFA their side. No, this is coming from a Winnie Unity platform. I will uh, possible squad if we was to be Otuado, the squad that we will be naming for Ghana. Okay, so let's get in very quick. Starting from the goalkeepers, the goalkeepers, we are we are going to maintain the three goalkeepers that was invited the last time. Um, Loris Atizigi, you can see them on your screen. Loris Atizigi and Jojo Walakot and Kumasi Asante Kotoko goalkeeper Asari. Okay, that is the, the goalkeepers we're going to be calling right there. Okay, now let's move to the defenders. We're making things step by step and making things clear for you to get it right. So the defenders, we have two on the right back. That is Ali Rusedu and uh, Tarek Lamte. You can see them on your screen as well. That is the player, two players we're going to have on the right back. When you go to the left back, we are maintaining Giron Mensa and Ebenezer Anan. Okay, Giron Mensa and Ebenezer Anan for the left back. Ebenezer Anan moved to um, a new club. But he's doing well. He played four matches so far. They sat at the Sabian League not quite long ago. I think only um, four matches. And he played all the four matches. He's doing very well. The last time he played for Ghana, he wasn't bad. He was very, very good. So I do not think that. There is a lot of options out there. Um, Zuberu is one of them. But I do not think that we need a new player for the, the left back. So that is the um, our main reason why. Um, we're choosing um, these two players right there for the left back. Now, the the centre back we have the centre back we have um, four four centre back. Um, you can see them on your screen as well. Alexander Juku, Mohamed Salusu, Tere Yebe, and uh, Joron Opoku. Okay, this is the four uh, centre back right there a lot of people that do not know much about um terry right here this guy play in sweden s -Bok. he play the same club with uh Makebedu, i always talk about and abdullah and he's doing very very well this season and if you want a good defender in black stars now he's one of the top defender out there 
He played 14 games for his club, scoring four goals. Yes, you hear me right. Scoring four goals as defender. He's a kind of playing like a Jerome Button. You know Jerome Button? Also a kind of, I mean Jerome Button, Joron Opoku. Um, uh, sorry for that, Joron Opoku, I mean. Um, Joron Opoku as well. A kind of a player that normally also score goals as well. So, um, he is a player that play for the right back. Okay, for the uh, not the right back, but it's the uh, a right uh, play for right. So it's a player that can replace Alexander Juku. You know, Mohamed Salusu is a left. So um, Joron Opuku is uh, a second choice if Mohamed Salusu is not because Joron Opuku also play left. So that is the reason why I have this. Uh, center backs right here now we are moving to the midfielders okay we're moving okay let's move to the wingers we're moving to the wingers before we talk about the the midfielders so the wingers we have six wingers right here six wingers um we have three three for the left wings and we have three for the right wings so the three that will be playing for the right wing is um, you can see the six right there but I'm giving you the three that will be playing for the right wing there will be um, Jesse Pinson Jesse Pinson and Ibrahim Sadiq a lot of people that do not know much about Ibrahim Sadiq I will come back later on this video I will give you a little bit explanation about much more about him so the right is Jesse Pinson Ibrahim Sadi and Osman Bukari. The left wing is Fatou Isahako and is Norma and um, Ramford Yabua. Okay. That, they will be playing for the left wing. So all the wings players are six. So a lot of people that are not really know do not know much about Ibrahim Sadi. Ibrahim Sadi is a player who play for Holland um Yes, Holland AZ Hoffman in the Holland um, League. He's a Ghanaian who was born in Ghana. He played for Ghana under 17. He also played for Ghana, I think under 20, under 21, something like that as well. And he's doing very, very well. If you are looking at a player that have formed so far, Holland, they get sat their season. But when you check up the preseason and it's a uh, matches that they played last season and the preseason that gets finished, he was good and also the league that sat they get they play one he played one game so far that is the the opening game and he's the one that scored the only goal for his team they went away to win one goal to zero and when you are talking about a good wingers that can control ball dribble suit one of them can score goals as well so that is the reason why he's coming in this time around we all know I don't. I, I do not need to talk much about Enes Norma and Fatou Isahako. If you are Ghanaian and you have been following Ghana football, you know what these two young guys can do. So I do not need to give you any explanation about them. Now, Ramford Yabua or Ramford Collins Dufa, he's a young star, been a Ghana black star for some time. Get to a point he wasn't getting call up as well, but they start the season. He played two games, three goals. Two games, two games, three goals. The season sad gets two matches. He scored three goals, which I feel like is also another best young talent doing very well out there. Okay, that's the wingers. You are not seeing um, Ibrahim Osman. You are not. I, I will tell you the reason why I dropped Ibrahim Osman and Kamaldin Sulemana right there. I will tell you later on when i finish the squad right here so now we are moving to the 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 midfielders okay we're moving to the, the midfielder midfielders as well i have six midfielders okay so you can see it on your screen as well thomas party mohammed kudus um salam abdul samed and magid asmeru michael bedu and francis abu this will be our midfielders a winning unity platform this is the midfielders we're choosing for ghana black star okay a lot of you know these players already 
uh, which we do not need a much explanation. The only player we have to give you a little bit explanation about him. Maybe some of you, if you do not know him that much, uh, that is Marke Bedu. Okay, we're going to give you a little bit uh, something you need to know about Marke Bedu. Marke Bedu is the player who play Sweden, which I spoke about the defender Terry. They both play the same club that is Esbok in the Swedish league. This season so far, Marke Bedu is a player that can also play for the number 10. So if let's say Mohamed Kudus is not around or maybe Mohamed Kudus want to make um, substitute, he's the perfect player who can replace Mohamed Kudus. Okay, this season so far, he played 17 games for the Swedish side in the Sweden um, Esbok. He 17 games, scoring 6 goals and giving 4 assists as uh, attacking midfielder. You hear me right. 17 games, 6 goals and 4 assists. Which I think he's the perfect man to invite for Black Stars as a new player this time around. Far as a winning unity platform are concerned, monitoring Ghana Black Stars players around the world. So that is something you need to know about Mark Beidou. Okay, now the we will come back and give you the reason why we drop some players right here um, in the midfield as well. So now let's move to the strikers. Okay, we're moving to the strikers. The striker we have three strikers. And you can see it on your screen. The three strikers is Jordan Ayu, Anyaku William, and Antonio Semenyo. Um, Jordan Ayu, the last time Jordan Ayu played the two matches for Ghana as a striker, he came on against Mali as a striker. We all saw the performance he put there. Playing against Central Africa Republic as a striker, we we'll all see the performance of Jordan Ayu. So, Jordan Ayu himself, he said that he's much more comfortable and also to play well as the striking role than to be playing for the wings. I'm not saying that what Jordan Ayu want, that is what he have to do. It is about what the coach want, that is what the coach will put him. If the coach want him to play for the wing, Jordan Ayu have no option. Or, I mean, have no choice. It is the coach to decide that. But if a winning unity platform was to be Otoado, we will not call Jordan Ayu as a the wings player. We will call Jordan Ayu as a striker. Now, we're going to be starting from the... We don't need to even talk about the goalkeepers because the goalkeepers, that's the option we have. And uh, Ibrahim Danlat, he's not doing well <coughs> long time. Um, um, this goalkeeper that used to call for Ghana Black Stars play for Belgium, uh, Abdul Manav Nuridin, he's not also doing well. Um, Jordan Emisa, another player, is not doing well. We don't need to be wasting time talking about players that are not performing right here. So, that's the main reason why we don't need to talk about this player. So, this goalkeeper is the one. We have there so the defenders a lot of people will ask we are not seeing uh the reason why we do not add abdul mumuni in our squad abdul mumuni i'm not really his playing style not really convinced me okay so i'm not kind of uh, sure that he's a player that i really um is top there more than and uh, terry right here i think that is much more physically strong and also can defend well can also score goals as well so i think um terry is much more ahead of um abdul mumuni to my personal opinion that is the reason why you are not seeing him uh daniel amate i do not really know much uh so far daniel amate where he is his performance something like that it dropped down for some time now that is the reason why you are not seeing him in the squad as well we're not going to waste time in the defenders dennis odoy also doing well but dennis odoy um, I don't think that we need so many players in the left back. How many players at the end of the day are you going to uh, play? It's two. So that's the reason why you are not seeing Denis Odoi 
and Kingsley Sinla. Also, Baba Rahman, the left back, Baba Rahman make it clearly that he's not going to play for Black Stars again according to Otuado what he told us the last time. So that is the reason why there is no time to be talking about players that are not ready for Ghana. Not that he's not ready, but based on what happened, that's the reason why he decided to pull out from Black Stars. So we're not going to waste time talking about players like that. Now, the midfielders and the wing and the striking side that are a little bit players are dropped and a lot of people will not understand. Um, Elias Owusu is not in the, this squad. Yes, I know Elias Owusu is a good player, but when you check Elias Owusu compared to other players, I think they are ahead of Elias Owusu, to my personal opinion. Um, in terms of Elias Owusu and uh, Francis Abu, I think Francis Abu is much more kind of aggressive player and a kind of a player that really much more uh, smart and stuff like that more than Elias Ousu. Elias Ousu is very very good player don't get me wrong but I feel like it's kind of a very slow kind of uh, you know player and uh, one type of player that I you know you know what I mean so that is the reason why I do not add Elias Ousu into the squad. Another player that not in the squad the last time he was in the Ghana squad but I do not include him is Edmond Ado. I don't know the reason why Edmond Ado have to be invited to Ghana Black Stars. The guy is not doing well. I do not remember the last time the guy been playing full 90 minutes consistent like a three matches. So I do not see the reason why Edmond Ado have to be making Ghana Black Stars squad. That is the reason why he is not in our squad. Now, when we move to the, um, the wingers as well player like um, okay the midfield as well um forcing amankwa is not in the squad the reason why forcing amankwa is not in the squad because he gets moved to a new club they only play one game so i think that these players they are young we have players out there so we should allow these players that gets moved to a new club to able to establish a little bit well like the way they, they give chance to Fatou Isahaku to establish in Leicester, Leicester City. So I think moving to a new club, coming to national team, some injury situation can happen or whatever, you can never say, you can never know. So it is good to give this new player to establish world with Norwich City. That is the main reason why I do not include him to the squad. The second player is uh, Ibrahim Osman. Ibrahim Osman, okay. Ibrahim Osman is a player that um, also Ibrahim Osman is a player that also moved to a new club that is Brighton and talk was even going on that maybe he, he will be going a loan a loan deal or something like that I don't know how that is so I don't want to talk about it so as a new young player gets moved to a club I think um, we need to leave him to establish with his team right there and in the future he's still young he have more years ahead of him so i do not think that we need to rush to be bringing him to the black stars which will have players that can play a position also doing very well so that is the main reason why we do not include ibrahim um osman okay kamal din sulemana kamal din sulemana is a player that did very well in ghana against central african republic but the reason why we do not include Kamal Din Suleimana. Kamal Din Suleimana is injured as now um, we, we speak. Kamal Din Suleimana, even their opening game, I think against Newcastle, if I get it right, he will not play because he's injured. That is the reason why we do not need to be including players that are uh, injured. So if you do not know the reason why we do not invite him, that is the reason. Now, what player is? A player that also not in the squad uh we need unity platform squad and we need to give you a little bit explanation about it is brandon thomas asante yes brandon thomas asante is a very strong good player when he came on at ghana against um central african republic he did very well he showed that yes he deserved to be in ghana black stars but this time around i don't think we need him for now he's also a young player i think anyaku william is back so far that Sanyak William is back doing very well and Twin Seven you doing very well. Jordana, you can also be playing for the, the striking role. 
we just need only three circuits. We do not need a lot of circuits. And he also moved to a new class. Only play a one game, or let me say two games so far. One game for the championship and one game for the EFL Cup. So two games so far. And they haven't established yet. So if you bring that player and the end of the day, you can never tell. Going to NASA team to get an injury or something, that is not what we are wishing. That is not what we pray. No, but anything can happen. Life, you need to be positive, negative sometimes. So if he, something like that happened to him in the national team is going to affect him in the new club we see over the years that those things affect a lot of players till now and they haven't get back yet so i think him that is the main reason why we leave him to establish very well in the club in the future we can bring him to ghana national team so yeah this, that is the squad that is the squad um you we have for you ghana black star squad um yeah for 26 man squad this is what we have for you right here at a winning unity platform thank you so much for always um staying here with us once again like i said if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so subscribe to the channel give us thumbs up give your comment we're going to be reading your comment and also reply you if there is any question you want to ask us concerning some players that we drop right here at a winning unity platform some player you do not really agree with us dropping him or some player we we include him to the, our winning unity platform squad ask your question drop your comment we're going to be reading your comment and also replying you as well right here at a winning unity platform one love